Rogers Pass on the Continental Divide near Lincoln can get brutally cold. Like all Montana mountain passes, that's not unusual. But on January 20th, 1954, it was. It was the coldest day ever observed in the lower 48 states. At 70 degrees below zero, the record still stands. National Weather Service meteorologist Corby Dickerson says it broke the old record of 66 below set near West Yellowstone, Montana in 1933. It is, it's absolutely legit. Here, Corby is pictured near the miner's cabin where the weather reading was taken 69 years ago. The 4K's mine was a weather observing station. It was about a quarter mile below the summit. The 4Ks were Helena brothers Albert and Harry Kleinschmidt, their nephew Harrison Mercer Kleinschmidt, and Leroy Kyle from Elliston, a World War II B-17 pilot. And together, as the 4Ks, they make up the 4K mine. Corby spent six years researching the unique circumstances of that frigid night. He says in those early morning hours of January 20th, the miners couldn't sleep because the cabin was creaking and popping from the extreme cold. Harrison checked the thermometer attached to the cabin. They had a high-grade personal thermometer that recorded 68 below zero. Harrison then went to check the official weather service thermometer in an instrument shelter 40 to 50 feet from from the cabin, but he couldn't get an accurate reading. He finds that the indicator that is used in recording the minimum temperature had receded so far it had tilted into the bulb of the liquid and glass thermometer. So these are the official temperatures that were observed by H.M. Kleinschmidt and the rest of the miners at the 4K's mine. The miners sent both thermometers to the state climatologist who suspected it was a record. He sent them on to Washington, D.C. for testing. By testing both thermometers, scientists confirmed the record. And sent a telegram to the Weather Bureau that March indicating that the official record would be minus 70. Really cold temperatures are usually found in higher elevations. Rogers is only 5,600 feet but 1954 might have been the perfect storm. Corby attributes it to geography, six feet of snow, cold air from Canada, and no wind. Plus, the mine was built into a bowl-shaped depression on the side of the hill. These kind of depressions in mountainous terrain tend to hold cold air more efficiently than other areas. They tend to be sheltered from wind or any atmospheric flow. And that's likely the key factor that it played into getting this minus 70 temperature. You can't help but be intrigued by just how cold that is. Of course, it put Rogers Pass on the map, and it's still the stuff of lore in Lincoln. Rancher Eddie Grant here shows us pictures from a book filled with photos of his pioneer family. My great-grandparents come here in, in uh, 1862. Eddie and his family saw a lot of below zero days on the ranch. It's cold this winter. He says on that day in 1954, he figures it was 56 below. He was 19, helping his dad and brother-in-law feed cattle. Uh, that day, yeah. <laughs> you bet it was damn cold. We were out there pitching hay. We had to go and, and pitch the hay onto the sleigh and then go and, and bring it back in. And, and the snow was deep, I remember that. You pitch fast, keep warm. <laughs> Lincoln is used to deep snow. It knows winter. Right before Christmas, we had that really cold day where it got to negative 50 in town. And I think some of the temperature maps had it closer to negative 60 up near the pass, so getting pretty close to that negative 70 record. There used to be a sign showcasing the story on Highway 200. It's been retired, but Corby worked with the Forest Service to design a new sign at the pullout rest area. That's located right at the summit of Rogers Pass. It's got a nice trailhead spur that takes you to the Continental Divide, and we've put a fully informative sign that talks about the entire story of this amazing minus 70 degree temperature from January 20th, 1954. Corby yeah, thinks the next step should be putting the old 4K's mine site on the National Register of Historic Places. Kevin Mackey, NBC, Montana.